Hello. Welcome back to this fucking shit. Alright. Billy, are you ready? To fight the dragon. Dragon, dragon. So fuck that dragon. <laughs> so full disclosure. For some reason my my PS5 did not want to cooperate. I was trying to um put back in the uh, save file that we were working on that we had gotten to this point in the game anyway. And it didn't want to work for some reason. So I just loaded up my level 126 character and we're going to go ahead and use that to just kill the dragon. <laughs> you know, this has been a botched playthrough from the start. <laughs> so, And we've restarted it several times anyway. <laughs> so... This is basically the same character anyway. Yeah, pretty much. You were building it the same way. I hope in the sequel you can actually build your class, because in this game they didn't really do that. Yeah. So you're using magic missile? Yeah, because there's a... A fly girl. What's her fucking name? Suc right? Succubus, I think. I believe well, those are harpies. Well, no, that one is a succubus. There's, oh. different, there's different versions. Some some people would agree. <laughs> exactly. Ow. Oh my god. Lizard dudes. <clears throat> so we figured in in the news that the sequel is coming out um, shortly that I'm just gonna blaze through the end of this game. <laughs> Because it's taken way too long for us to get to this point anyway. Oh, oh. Ow! Well, the new game. Taylor has not seen anything on it. I have, because I don't care about spoilers. I've seen the Colossus. That's all I know. And I didn't really get a good look at it. I just know that it's a big dude walking at it's you. It's a big dude walking at you. Yep. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I might even buy it. it wow. Depends. It depends. If I think it's too much like this one, I won't buy it. But if it's um, more like something better, then I will buy it. I think they will hopefully still have the charm of this game while still allowing themselves to be able to flesh it out more than, the, than this one. It's going to be Dark Souls, but dragon stuff. I, I hope that they refine the combat in this game. Like The combat's fun, but yeah, it's a little rough around the edges. It's too arcadey for me, is yeah. what I call it. Where you just kind of... It reminds me of the olden days, like... The side scrolling beat em ups, where it's basically oh, yeah. you just kind of oh, this part would do the be, same combo. This would normally be a fucking nightmare. Well, th well, that's the thing. Well, that's the thing. Like this game doesn't really have that. Like that's what they needed to do. That was like combo trees and like different like skills yeah. and shit. They don't. They don't really have that in this one. Like you just kind of hack, and then the way in which you do the way in which you do different moves is like you time the presses differently. So like to do yeah. to do this attack. Just requires you to take like to pause, rather than like just go, doing, go, go. rather than doing like a heavy move, because the heavy attack is literally this: you tap it and that happens, or you hold it and then that happens. Like that's all it is for the heavy attack. So it's really not much there. But if they like combined it or like did like you know different uh, you know things between the two buttons, you could probably have a lot more variety. Yeah. I mean, you look at, like, Monster Hunter, and, like, they only have, like, two primary attack buttons for the most part, and then a couple of the shoulder buttons just to kind of give you a couple of other things that you can do, and then that's it. So, they do a lot with a little. Yeah, um, I hope it doesn't suck. I don't think it'll suck. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it very much. It's like, this game is interesting, but it, I, I have no passion for it. Well, yeah, because you haven't been playing it for ten years like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm melting these dudes. This is fucking great. <laughs> this would have been such a fucking pain in the ass if I was doing it on the other file. Hey, he's that new that he's done. We already pressed that one. Okay. It was actually fun to... I platinum this game. Mm -hmm. And it was actually pretty fun to do, like... Um, to do that, firstly. But also to do, like, the... There's like a speedrun mode, so you can like speedrun the game. Um, you have to complete the speedrun mode in order to like get a trophy or whatever. Yeah. And um, I think I had done it in like 53 minutes or something. something is, that, like. is that good? It could have been much better, but yeah. 
I mean, I not assume bad. it gave you like a gold or a platinum or something like. I don't that. think I don't think it rewards you based on time. I think it's just a, a mode that they let you do. <laughs> so okay. it's just a so it's I just, yeah yeah I don't. It's kind of like Shadow of the Colossus is right where you can do each of them. So the, the, fast or not. the weird thing with the speed run <clears throat> mode in this game though is that like, so since you only have one save. There's only like one instance of your character at any given time, basically. So like, if you do speed run mode, it uses like your most leveled up character, or like okay. the one, like whatever level you're at in the main game. Like so, it'll, like if I'm at 127 now, I'm level 127. If I do speed run mode, it'll use that character with this build and everything. And like the thing of it is, the reason why you can go so fast in the game is because there's the port crystals. I think I told you about before. They're like, so the fast travel in this game is like you have to use a specific item to. To, to fast travel, but they only let you go to like certain places on the map. I think really only two throughout the whole game, pretty much. Not counting Bitter Black Isle, which is like the DLC part, but like port crystals are basically like points that you can place within the map or in the world, and then okay. you can teleport there. Okay. So if you know where to go <clears throat> to do all the main story, yeah, you can just teleport everywhere, and it makes the game go by so much faster. The only thing, like, the beginning of the game, um, there's like an early quest where we're transporting the Hydra head or whatever. Um, that's probably the longest quest in the game because you have to run like the whole distance from the start of the mission to, to the city or whatever. Like you can't really skip that part. Oh. I'm getting these messages. <laughs> there are like two a angels in here. <laughs> so this... I know. This is, it's going on in a half an hour. What's going on? The Santa Claus parade. So this... So this... Uh, oh, you should, you'll be able to get to the bridge. Where, did, where does... It goes down Front Street, right? Okay, so we won't block the bridge out? No. Go straight through the lights? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. That's what I figured. So the dragon. First of all, his name is Grigori. He's a red dragon. Which I'm are, surprised I'm surprised they never put him in Monster Hunter. They should have done that. Which are uh, one of the more evil oh, of yeah. the dragons. Are they? You could say the only other one that's really more evil than a red dragon, black dragon. is a black dragon, yeah. yeah. And that's just because it wants to corrupt everything around it. Yeah. Well, the red dragon, ugh, all it wants to do is just kill be, everything be around evil. it. <laughs> yeah. To be evil and have no feelings, too. They're very <laughs> so the, aggressive. So the, the dragon offers you a bargain, or like a, a deal. Yeah. For well, the price of your beloved, he shall leave the land in peace. Is that really your balloon? Not really. I don't even remember her. That's uh, Mercedes. <laughs> Benz? Yeah. <clears throat> and then if he leaves, I think if you leave, he'll give you like the riches of the world or whatever, and you become like the next dude, basically. Yeah, and he's just like, you're going to technically be my pawn, and I'm going to eat your girl. Can you close the door? Most, mostly for the, just for the smoke alarm. We still here. So anyway, yeah, you can leave. But, well, that, that's it's, it's insinuated that the current duke of of the land Did took this. he took the bargain. Yeah, and that's why. Which is why, like, if you recall that one cutscene where he's strangling his wife and screaming, Lenore. Like that's the his beloved that he sacrificed for to become the duke. Is he Bill Dotry? Lenore. No. Oh. His name is Edmund. Okay, let's fucking fight. Good ghost! <laughs> you know, not as big as I thought he was gonna be. He's pretty big, but. Yeah. He's no Shadow of the Colossus big. No. We'll get that in Dragon's Dogma 2. Alright, so this, this fight is uh, kind of scripted in some ways. Okay. So like this first part, part, like you can't fight him, like they want you to run away. Yeah. Because he's a big old bitty. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try and rush. I'm gonna try and rush through this uh, part. Like, I'm not gonna skip cutscenes and shit, but I'm gonna it's try. Like, it's like the T-Rex from earlier. Yeah, it is like the T-Rex, isn't it? Except this is way fucking cooler. <laughs> I don't know. T-Rexes are pretty cool. Then he Fight comes out. Back. And he comes out. Yeah. In his face. Oh my. We're fucking cutting through him though, dude. Holy He's shit. Like, oh my god, my skin. Oh my god, it's, this it's, is like a round two. I wonder, like, I can't. I can't kill him here, I don't think. I really shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Just fucking win. Just speed run it. Yeah. Normally, when you do this, like on your first playthrough, like you're doing like next to nothing to him at this point. You'd probably have gotten him to where you are at right now, except for one dot earlier. I almost don't want to hit him because it's like I'm gonna fuck him up. And there's a lot more like scripted parts that come through after this, so there is like a proper battle. But okay, well, yeah. at least get him one more down. Oh, and he breaks through. And now you fight him. Oh, come on. Oh, he has work going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I am, yes. Work. He's going to school. Yep, I everybody am. works here? Doing school and work at the same time. Everybody works. Yeah, everyone works. Okay. Are you working? Ting, 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 ting. She worked yesterday. I also work every day. Yeah. Don't put that up there. I don't. Um, what about May? Is she working? No. Working on eating. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> ting, 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 ting. Um, Rebecca sorry to bug you out, we'll leave you alone. Rebecca wants to know if it's okay if um, Tiny Little Tater Tot gets dropped off here from 5 to 7 on Wednesday night. That's, I mean, that's fine. Jake's having his work Christmas party Christmas at Mars and Bowl okay. from 5 to 7. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Just want to be sure. Oh, that'd be fine. Okay, bye. I'll leave this open. Goodbye for now. Yeah. Closed? No, that's fine. The, the smoke alarm's not going, so that's fine. <laughs> I know it wasn't your fault. I'm not saying it was. I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna blame you. You are the one who turned on the microwave to make pizza. I thought you were gonna say you are the one who made the move here. Oh, that happened. That That's true. That is true. What if? But yeah. you know, if he didn't live here, we would have been interrupted by a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> and my mom. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's tradition yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Do it I work? Of, it kind of is tradition, isn't it? But the best part about it, you know, I would smoke the alarm off because we're trying to make mushroom soup. I guarantee it. They always make mushrooms. Jeez, that was fucking fun. Alright. Bye bye. Enjoy your pizza. Billy paid for it. I did. Yeah. Oh, but I, I did it. I paid for the drinks. Why are you feeling guilty? Oh, we, we take turns paying. We take turns paying. Alright, well, whatever. Nope. Trying to do something no problem. Like, trying to do something nice with somebody. Okay. Alright. That yeah, we're basically. Yeah, this part is actually pretty sick. Windows Vista. <laughs> I'm more of an XP guy, you know. <laughs> I thought XP was like the pinnacle. Uh, you know, actually, I was personally a me fan. Windows me. <laughs> 95, can't go wrong. That was true, 95 was good. Temple OS, can't go wrong. <laughs> DOS, dude, fucking DOS. I still. I could play Warcraft 2. On a browser, because it, it would actually cutscenes. DOS. This is fucking oh! Game of Thrones. Oh, it's a Sir's Wrath. <laughs> it's not a Sir's Wrath. Definitely not that. It is not crazy enough to be a Sir's Wrath. <clears throat> you know, what I think I might do. 
Oh, yeah, that's fucking sick. That's cool. I don't know. Dragons are cool. I might take off my uh, helmet because I think it'd be more like I, I'm obviously like way over leveled for this, but yeah, just to kind of like make it cooler looking. A little more skinnamatic. I don't even remember what my character looks like. I have no idea. <laughs> it's probably just like some big wart nose. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to have all this. Oh, I got all this other equipment. Like it heals me. Um, no, just oh, some it's just it's just the standard. That's like the default female face. So I see you paid ten dollars to get the uh, the female version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did pay the fee the ten the ten dollar DLC female pack. <laughs> oh my god, my bag. So what are these, griffins? Uh, no, those are harpies. Harpies. So right now we're climbing to stab his heart from the back, which makes no sense. So, so you're going to thrust through... Yeah, well, see, it's pulsating there. Yeah, I, I get that, but do you have, like, a... I don't know, that's just what like the game... Like a pole arm or something? the fucking game wants you to do, man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe we had a pole arm, and not just some fucking... That's what I hope. I haven't seen much. I think they have like some kind of lance person in uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, but I want, yeah, I wanted some like polearm shit. Like some polearm action would be cool. Yeah. Like more weapon variety would be nice. Here's sword. Here's daggers. Here's a bow. Here's a staff. I Get think to it. from what I've seen, they've, um, I think, stripped back a couple of the vocations. Like, because in some of them you'd have two different kinds of weapons. You'd have like daggers and a bow. But I think in the I think it looks like in the new one they've only got um, like one or the other. And you're dead. Uh, but maybe uh, that means uh, they're gonna focus in and develop the uh, shit more for each individual weapon. You know. I don't understand why this guy's even coming back to attack you. Just let you fall and die. Like I mean, you can die from fall damage <clears> in the game. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing either. Kind of like in the Dino Stalker, where the, the plane was going to shoot our guy falling out of the air. It's like, he's no longer a threat to you. Yeah, you're like, he's going to land in the ocean. See that, and the hearts, like, resonate or some shit. It's because they're actually in love. The sheer epicness of that whole section, too, was undermined by, like, <laughs> what we were talking about. <laughs> Ooh. Now, where are you? Where, where are you landing? Because... Unless you fell with him. Oh, okay, yeah. No, just I'm just there. The the Hello, this is Taylor from the future. And as you can see, our <laughs> I have a message on screen saying that our voiceover uh, stopped recording at this particular point for about five minutes. So, I don't know. I could just show you the fight itself, but I'm going to go ahead and narrate over it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, what else is there really to say about this part other than it's a dragon fight and it's pretty, pretty cool. There he is, landing. I was like in the boss fights like this where they just the boss just randomly keeps saying random stuff. Like just, you know, lofty philosophical talk during the middle of getting a, a giant harpoon shot at you. <laughs> this stupid dragon like wants to die. <laughs> Damn it, this cable is stuck on my robe. Like, how, how much are you actually listening to what the dragon is saying during this part, you know? Now, this dragon fight is not, uh, at this point, not very long. Because uh, <laughs> I was really overpowered for this fight, <laughs> as you can see. 
Yeah, the stupid thing was, is I kept trying to, uh, like prior to us felt like recording, I tried to get the old file on here, onto my PlayStation, and it just wouldn't read the, um, the USB, like the flash drives that I kept using. Like for some reason, it just wouldn't recognize it. So, luckily, I happen to have this 127 <laughs> level character. <laughs> right at the point we were fighting the dragon so we just I'm like I just want to end this freaking playthrough so here we are oh and he still managed to mess me up there that's kind of funny because I don't think a new game plus I don't think they actually like really make anything that much stronger so he kind of he kind of jacked me up there oh well what do you do I jack him up pretty bad anyway, as you'll you'll see here in a moment. <laughs> I am doing so much damage when I really shouldn't be. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my god! Yeah, he didn't. He didn't stand a chance. Grigori. And he's coming back in the sequel, so somebody else is going to be reincarnated as Grigori. Well, I, actually, I think, I don't know, I, they've probably established this in like trailers and stuff, but I'm pretty sure uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is like a prequel, maybe? But I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Never understood this part, like... Um... Yeah, it's so like the city quarter, like, collapses or whatever. As I said when we originally played this, that all the, just pe all the peasants just lose their houses. <laughs> and, like, meanwhile, the king and, uh, like, the duke and the royalty are all completely fine. <laughs> But I never understood, like, if the defeat of the dragon was a direct result, or, like, that collapse was a direct result of the dragon being defeated. I have no idea. And then we get to watch this cool cutscene in a second, actually. Um, I think that my our VO is going to start up again here in a moment, so... I, I don't know. I hope to maybe fill this void enough, but whatever. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think it stopped recording. Hold on. I think our audio stopped recording at some point. Oh. Oh well. <clears throat> Hold on. That guy got turned to dust. Yeah, he did. Well, he wanted it. Yeah, see, okay, so, like, now all the people, like, all the Arisen get their heart back or whatever. So, like, they age now. Like, yeah, they to where aged. they should be. Yeah, to where they should be. Well, the shit now. Well, I think we lost some audio, but that's fine. I don't really care. You should have said all the spoilers. No, well, this is such a botched series anyway, like I said. <laughs> like, the way in which we played through it, so it's not a huge deal. The only thing the only thing we probably lost is me saying that all the peasants lost their housing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me this Reese dick. I just want one of these. So but I want you to have both. I don't want both. Well, I don't give a shit what you want. I don't give a fuck. Hello, my beloved. What's your name? Wee. Uh huh. Yeah, this ain't the end of the fucking game, dude. Come on. Don't even begin to act like it's the end of the fucking game, dude. Jesus Christ. We all know it's not the fucking end. <laughs> 
here it comes, here it comes. I think they modeled that person after Lady from Devil May Cry 3. There's a, part, a character named Lady, and she looks a lot like that. I'll have to take your word for it. I have to have her play Devil May Cry. She's a, like, she actually is a main character despite her being called Lady. So, just her name's actually Lady. I mean, I know, you know. I, do, I think they can just call her Lady, but because they just don't ever, like, establish what her name is. But I could be wrong. I don't remember. I haven't played that game in a long time. I know there's the girl in, from Scrubs whose name is Lady. Oh! Oh, I'm getting some. Now that you have a heart, I'm going to fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> I like Festy. I want to see more of him. Yeah, I hope that he's the main character in Shadow of the Colossus too. I mean, Dragon's Dogma too. This time it's Shadow of the Colossus. Eh? Still got that lantern. We did it, dude. We beat the game. It's not at the end of the game, but <laughs> I remember when we first started, and then you fought a big old spider. Yeah. Then I never saw another one again. It's that big, big old one. I saw a lot of the little ones just recently. What the fuck was the big? The, was there a big spider in this game? You talking about? Yeah, was it a big spider? No. No. There's no big, there's no giant spiders in this game. It's just the smaller ones. What was the first big thingy? Snake? The very like the Hydra? Yeah, was that what the first thing was? No, that's not the very first thing, but it's early in the game, yo. I thought it was a spider. What the fuck am I thinking of? Nope. I'm thinking of something else. Definitely ain't this. Well, no, the only spiders are like the ones you see in like the forest and shit. They're not that big. Yeah, like, they're big by, like, our standards yeah, in real life, but, like, by video game standards, not that big. Yeah, no. Like, the thing I'm thinking of was, like, you know, four or five times the size of a human. No. So, yeah. No. Lady Kate Higgins. Oh, that was it? Okay. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, that, like, it was a very hard cut. I don't know why that... <laughs> I'm like, what the I, fuck? I guess because there's not that many uh, voice actors in the game. No. Not really. I mean, you're basically reading text the whole time. More or less, yeah. This is a fucking place. <laughs> Welcome back to this fucking place. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. I, I thought we fought a big spider here. I can't remember mm, shit. No, no. The first boss we fight is the chimera. Big spider chimera. That's not a fucking spider. <laughs> it's a huge fucking spider. <laughs> <clears throat> so I scissored with Mercedes, and here we are. Yeah, you remember? Okay, so big fucking spider boss fight. Like you're walking through this place. And then there's this guy who's stuck in a in a web, and he's like, "Hey, help me out!" And then you you fight the big spider, the big frostbite spider, and then you save him. But then he uh, he betrays you later, and then you get the golden claw. And then you go and you open up the gate, and then you learn uh, your fusroda. I'm sorry, hold on. Um, this Bisnal outfit. What the fuck is that? Yeah, you remember that? That sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't know that's, that's what... That's Skyrim. I was going to say, that sounds like Skyrim. That's what I thought it was. 100%. That's, that is Skyrim. Ooh, all this shit got Dragonforged. Hell. Immortal yeah! monsters. Yeah! Yeah! Well, I'm really glad I had the save file, because otherwise I would have had to do a whole bunch of other shit to get back to the dragon. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's good. I am not going to do any of this. I'm just looking to I'm see just looking. all the people who need help. Yeah, I'm not doing and this. And I will not help. I'm not doing this. I'm curious Why what's is the... he so tiny? I don't know. He's a little guy. He's just a little guy. My name is Pedno. I've got an abysmal outfit. What the frig is that? A bee is no. A bee is... That's worse. Well, yeah, because it's not been Dragon Force or upgraded. Yeah. What is it? Is it my undershirt? It's clothing. 
Okay, hold up. Get hold naked. Up. I just want to see. Yeah, I just want to see what this is. Get naked. So the Immortal's Warrior. Coat. We're going to unequip that. I want to see what this. I'm probably not going to use it. Oh, okay. I've seen, yeah, I've seen that before. Okay. What's the description? Mythical raiment that emits a dull glow. Only those who plumb the world's depths might obtain it. Interesting. Or if you like kill a dragon or something. Or if you like kill a dragon or some shit. Yeah, this I like the, the chainmail. It gives me strength, so I like to do that. And then they gave me duplicates of all the items that I already have. Well, curse bite is better than dragon's dogma, so we're not gonna use that. Yeah, I can see by a lot too. Um, I've already got a dragon's faith, but now it's dragon forge, so I don't need to do that. But that's actually good. All that all that stuff uh, got Dragon Forge, so that's pretty great. Um, all right, so we're gonna put away. Give me Forge. Give me Fire. Give me that one out of desire. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a couple of health items here. I don't think I need them. <laughs> nice amount of potion, sixty-nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get some secret softeners. Need those. Give me some of these harp split saucers. Have any salubrious brews? Where's the salubrious brews at? There they are. Salubrious. Yeah, there's some of those. All right. They greatly restore stuff. All right. Well, next time on Chin Step Chaps, we're going to fight death. I'm going to beat the game, maybe. Or should I fight death? Do you want me to fight yeah, death? Yeah, I want now? you to fucking fight oh, death. We, we can either, okay, Billy, we can either beat the game or fight death. I want, I want to beat the game. I want to see death. Just show me him. All right. Well, hold on. Hold on. Uh, we'll figure it out here. Give me a sec. Uh -huh.